Overnight, NBC News projecting that President-elect Joe Biden has won Arizona. It's a big shift for the state, which has not voted for a Democrat since 1996. Mr. Biden is forging ahead with his transition, even as President Trump still refuses to concede the election. And the president's own cybersecurity officials with an unprecedented rebuke, calling the election the most secure in American history, adding there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. Compromised. It comes as President Trump is spreading falsehoods about the integrity of the vote. On Twitter, the president amplifying a far-right conspiracy theory, alleging without evidence that millions of votes were manipulated in Biden's favor. Twitter flagged the information as disputed. Meanwhile, former President Barack Obama is speaking out for the first time since the election on his successor's ongoing unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud in an interview with 60 Minutes. They appear to be motivated in part because uh, the president doesn't like to lose and uh, never admits loss. President Obama also expressing his deep concerns that Republicans are endangering the country by not making the president face facts. It is one more step in delegitimizing not just the incoming Biden administration, but democracy generally. And that's a dangerous path. While most Republicans still won't publicly acknowledge Biden is the president of Mr. Trump, at least a dozen now saying Mr. Biden should receive classified intelligence briefings, which are being blocked by the White House. I do think that both the president and his and, and his competition here, the of Vice President Biden, should have access to those classified reports. A key Republican governor saying this. I think that. Uh, we need to consider um, uh, the former vice president as the president-elect. Uh, Joe Biden is the president-elect. Overnight, the president-elect's newly minted chief of staff, Ron Klain, weighing in on the delay. The president-elect is the president-elect. He is entitled under the statute to get those kinds of briefings. Now, overnight, China weighing in on President-elect Biden's victory. The foreign minister saying, quote, China respects the choice of the American people. For his part, Biden will huddle with advisors here in Delaware yet again as he continues to build out his team. President Trump at the White House, he's going to get a briefing on COVID today. He has not spoken out publicly in seven days now. 